this is unique because it's, you know, the kind of show that hasn't been on broadcast television, you know, very much. It's not just um, an old-fashioned, soft kind of story of the Bible. Welcome back to the set of A.D. in Morocco. It's taken until Easter Sunday, 2015, for Christ and His apostles to become the main focus of a network primetime series. And executive producers Mark Burnett and Roma Downey are leading the charge with this new NBC series, A.D. The Bible Continues. With a host of reality shows already credited to Burnett's name, including The Voice, Apprentice, Shark Tank, and Survivor, he is undoubtedly the king of reality TV. But now he and his wife, Roma Downey, are generating excitement in a different genre. More than anyone else, they have made faith-based entertainment a mainstream movement in Hollywood. And much of the credit has to be given to the Bible series they produced in 2013 for the History Channel. People kind of poo-pooed that this would really work. Everybody either had seen the Bible series or at least was talking about it and knew about it and had seen clips of it. What is his name? Jesus. That enormous success is what gave us the opportunity to continue on and not allow the story to end with the crucifixion, but allow the story to begin with the crucifixion and resurrection. And it was a story of what happens next. The Bible series had big numbers, but it was on cable. And cable is a subscription channel. And everybody has network television, you know? Everybody's got NBC on their dial. All this grandeur came about after a simple conversation between NBC chairman Robert Greenblatt and producer Mark Burnett. AD came out of me and Bob hanging out. We were actually standing in, in the, inside the uh, production truck of The Voice for a, a, one of the live episodes. Long days, just chatting. Hey, what are you doing next? The Bible had just premiered on the History Channel and it was huge. Oh, that Bible series looks great and you know and just chatting about well okay the Bible series will end. It was just an incredible kind of breakthrough uh, show and I said is are you finished with the Bible? That story ends it ends with the word Amen but AD the story that came next continues and there's an epic drama in there. And I said well we would do that we should do the continuation of it. And that's where it became. And, and I called Roma, she was still in Morocco at the time. I said, you know what? If we go ahead and do another series, this AD we've been talking about, we should do this with, with NBC, you know? And here we are. I have to say that NBC's commitment to stepping up boldly to take on AD was fantastic. But the, I think they saw the potential for this. And this is something you can watch with the whole family. It's a, a big opportunity. I saw him. Who? Hmm. Jesus. A religious revival is taking place in the entertainment industry, and some of the credit can be given to the Bible series, also shot here in Morocco. I think that, that the success of the Bible series shows that, that there is such a hunger in our nation and in our world for connection to God. I think people are hungry for hope, and, um, you know, and what a better source to go back to than to scripture. I will never be a slave again. You know, when Mark and I brought the Bible series to television, it was uh, uh, very ambitious for us to have uh, a, uh, a movie that told the story from the beginning of the book of Genesis through to the end of the book of Revelation. And in only 10 hours, clearly was an impossible task. And we did the best we could, but when we were filming that, we wished we'd had more time. And AD, the Bible continues, allows us to do that. People of faith are proving to Hollywood that family-friendly viewing is in vogue. Up next, why religious movies are more popular than ever. And a conversation with the man who plays Jesus. His own mother was on the set at the foot of the cross during the crucifixion scene. Find out why watching it sent her to the hospital.